Palm Skies Homestead Preparedness Channel. All right, guys. Uh, this is what we did with the uh, excavator. Okay, so I got uh, most of it dug out uh, yesterday. I'm uh, back at it again today. I had to go and uh, use the saw to get down some of the uh, bushes because uh, I had a guy had to get the uh, company to come back out and do a little fixing early this morning at 6:30 in the morning. Uh, then I had to go and take care of some other stuff. So um, back at it again. Uh, but yeah, this this good uh, this uh, excavator. Uh, I made short work of this. This took only about um, 45 45 minutes or so. Uh, to do this. I mean, we did some other stuff up the way, but um, This is what we're look looking at right here. So this is where that black culvert pipe is gonna go in so uh, we're gonna have some uh, boulders and rock uh, right in here um, You know going down the trench and then right up in here and then that overflow see where the water see like I said see the the water's coming up and that's just with the you know no rain and and just um well we had some rain um the other day but mostly this is just the aquifers out there releasing the springs and uh we were able to fix the other side over there um where it was leaking out so it's starting to fill back up but once we have a real monsoon oh did you all catch that fish jumping okay once we have a, a real monsoon uh, this is going to overflow again. So what we're trying to do is to get the pipe uh, into here um, down into a culvert and then flush through the culvert and then it's going to go back on this side. I still got some uh, digging out to do uh, back on this side and it's going to go down the hill um, and we're going to uh, be putting more pipe going down the hill then it's going to go into a um, hydro generator uh, right now it's just going to go into the um, natural pathway that is already created for itself but later on we're going to have it channeled into a hydro generator we've been looking at several different models uh, so we still got a little bit more to do right here I'm going to turn it around I'm gonna trench it out right here so it flows pretty good all the way down over here I just got finished cutting uh, using the pole saw and so we're gonna trench it all the way down and uh, it's gonna it, it create a natural path I mean see I mean that's a beach ball right there uh, so it created a natural path going all the way down so we're just gonna let it follow the natural path go on go on down there and then sooner or later we will go down this way um, with some other piping and create a trench uh, with concrete um, going down, concrete and pipe going down and uh, going into a hydro dam. So that's our goal. That's one of our goals for here so we can have uh, electricity, uh, another form of electricity. So. You know we're we're on the path we're getting the getting the stuff together uh man um i'm actually uh taking all the getting all the kids um out of their summer uh uh college courses and um having them come out too and learn as i learn i want them to learn because you know anything can happen to me so i want them to be able to also facilitate because this is the reason why uh, we got this a family uh, compound deal uh, and also we have some other friends that are that are uh, also a part of it so uh, everybody will be out tomorrow uh, we're gonna try to have some cameras out and show everybody um, coming out tomorrow um, like I said I really appreciate everybody um, you know, I, I see the work ethic of like Angela Busy Bee Garden. I mean, she she's really up there in Tennessee. She's really doing the big thing. I mean, she's uh 
working her behind all uh, last year and this year. I mean, I don't know if you all remember, but I uh, won. She had a giveaway. She had, a, I think it was a 500 um, subscriber giveaway. And I won the uh, red wagon from her about a year, year and a half ago. Maybe, maybe two years ago. Um, but if you've seen the course from that time, all the stuff that she's done, man, in her garden, it's amazing. I learned a lot from her. I learned a lot from the bull's garden, too. So, you know, I know I'm just small, but uh, if y'all can jump over to their channels, too, and make sure you give them a thumbs up on their channels, I really do appreciate it. And I know I'm a little small guy. I kind of keep it small, and I appreciate everything that uh, everybody's uh, uh, given me as far as... Um, you know thumbs up and likes and comments and stuff like that I really do uh, but this is what we're doing uh, today so I got to go and take care of uh, another little uh, project real quick man I'm telling you that Husqvarna pole saw man that joker is the truth right there that joker is the truth I gotta tighten my chain up but uh, that joker is the truth it I mean it it we come down and get it done with that one but this is what we're doing, guys. This is what we're doing. Like I said, the water's filling back up. Y'all see that? Water's filling back up. Uh, and it's filling up, uh, you know, like I said, pretty quick. So I want to get this done before a major storm comes in. Because once a major storm comes in, uh, this joker feels real. I mean, it, it feels overnight. So we're going to get this uh, done. Um, and... Uh, this part will be finished with well, the part with putting in the uh, the covert pipe um, and hopefully uh, we will get those rocks here so the, like I said the rocks are going to go along this bank side build up the bank water flow into the covert and flow down the way and at least it won't go over the bank that this is what I don't want it to do I don't want the water to go over this earthen dam like this I want to be able to control it coming along the side so that's why we're on the farthest end of it where um, you know we, we, we can control it and uh, so all right I'm gonna get back to work I appreciate y'all following Sky's homestead and preparing this channel but thank you over and out